Hi, this is a practice video for Symphony No. 7 in D minor uh, by Dvorak. This is the school orchestra arrangement by Todd Parrish, and I'll be playing the second violin part. Uh, we're going to just play it through slightly under tempo uh, so you can catch some of the rhythms. Uh, double check, there's a lot of accidentals in this piece, so really know uh, where your fingers are. I put a lot of finger, finger markings in your parts for you, um, but always double check um, and add more as you need. All right, so you guys have a pickup with the first violins into measure one. I'm going to count it slowly in, in six, um, even though in our concert performance we'll be going a little faster in two. All right, so you're starting on a low one, F natural. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. and then three measures rest. Here's your next part. Start on your fourth finger so you can get your high three and four um, in a tight half step. Here we go at measure 17. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Next part at 32, Let's go back to the measure I messed up. So this is measure 74, going into 75. That caught me a little off guard, sorry. Here's 74, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you gotta separate that last eighth note so that you're on a down bow at 25, or 75, sorry. 
Okay, so yeah, lots of ac accidentals to worry about. Um, let's hit just a couple of weird spots. I talked about this in class. Back in measure six, be careful that you're going low ones across, but then you have to move it up to a regular one E. Then your fourth finger, put all your fingers down so you can get the octave in tune. And so on from there. Um, there's another tricky spot. Oh, the trills um, in measure 22, 23, 24. So if it's messing you up, leave the trills out. I don't care about that. Uh, but if you're doing the trills, I put the fingerings above. So you hold down the note that's printed, the F, trill to the note above. So you've got 2 to 3, F natural to G, E to F. And then I have you going to third position, 1, 2, 3. Trill 2 to 3. Okay. And then go to your open D from there. If you're not doing the trills, you can keep it in first position. Um, same thing at 25, 26. If you're not comfortable going to third position, do the bottom notes. It's just an octave um, difference between those two parts. Uh, where's another tricky spot? Ah, measure 57. Let's look at that for a second. So at 57, your 16th note's halfway through the measure. Shift up to a high one in third position. Go to a two on the uh, D string. It's going to be a half step. Then a B flat low three. Another half step. So you're going to be going all three fingers smooshed together. And then it's easy after that. Come down to first position. And you're fine after that. Um, so again, especially in the last couple lines, lots of accidentals. Double check your fingering. Make sure you're playing the right high or low fingers. Uh, and then start speeding it up. You want to get it to about one, two, three. Which isn't tremendously faster, but it just has that more of a, a waltz feel, a dance feel. All right, as always, come and see me for extra help.